In 2020, the importance of laboratory medicine has never been clearer, and driving forward the field of clinical laboratory science and its application in healthcare is more urgent than ever. That's what AACC is all about, and now, as the 2020 AACC Annual Scientific Meeting and Clinical Lab Expo goes virtual, we are here to cover it all for you on AACC TV. We are back. It is episode four of AACC TV here at the all virtual AACC Annual Scientific Meeting and Clinical Lab Expo. You know us by now. We are here to bring you all of the very latest from the meeting and the world of laboratory medicine. Today we are looking at the very latest in molecular technologies and the role that they are playing in how medicine is done today. We'll head to Indianapolis via Frankfurt to talk about the language of RNA with FBB Biomed. We'll talk emerging molecular technologies with Christina Lockwood and look at Microgen DX's work using DNA sequencing in the treatment of microbial infections. We'll also look at the genomics of breast cancer with Agendia and hear how molecular technologies are being used in precision oncology First though, let's go back to the Clinical Lab Expo as AACC President David Grenache tells you why you need to be there. It's day four of 2020 AACC, but plenty still awaits you in the Clinical Lab Expo. Our exhibitors representing the full range of clinical lab products and services have all the information you need to make solid purchasing decisions. With our virtual format though, you can gather information in advance and have more focused exchanges. Whether you want to connect with a reagent distributor or you're looking for new molecular diagnostic options, just click Clinical Lab Expo. Select the exhibitor of interest to access product links and download and view demos. For example, this is where you could sneak peek the latest technology that solves your laboratory's testing needs. When a product or service grabs your attention, schedule a meeting or drop off a virtual business card, which allows the company to contact you. For more immediate connection, live chat with exhibitors will be open today and tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central Time. And please don't miss today's lecture series and industry workshops which are also accessible by clicking Clinical Lab Expo. As usual, our industry partners have detailed insight and expert overviews of pressing clinical practice issues and intriguing innovations. It's all here at 2020 AACC Clinical Lab Expo. Thanks, David. Make sure you don't miss the 2020 AACC Clinical Lab Expo. Now to FBB Biomed, a company focused on understanding the very language of the immune system using next generation sequencing and machine learning. Here we are a hundred years later, now starting to fill in those gaps by using mass genetic sequencers, bioinformatics programs, very powerful computers. We need to start sequencing cells at the single cell level. Then we will learn what the language is of each individual cell. AACC TV is brought to you from inside the 2020 AACC Annual Scientific Meeting and Clinical Lab Expo, featuring interviews with key speakers and updates about the meeting. We've also traveled the world to bring you insights into the global field of laboratory medicine. You will find us on the virtual meeting platform as well as online and on social media. We will bring you a new episode each day of the meeting and make sure to click through for much more from the world of laboratory medicine. 
Now, molecular technologies like next-generation sequencing are becoming a key part of precision medicine, but these tests come with their own challenges. To discuss this, I'm joined by Christina Lockwood, who will be chairing an interactive case-based workshop on the subject. Tina, thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. So what are the emerging technologies that you plan to be discussing, and why are there so many different types of molecular technologies? It's a good question. We, we often feel like it's uh, sometimes almost an alphabet soup of different types of technologies when we're talking about these things. So uh, really, that, that's the intent of the session, is to introduce this topic to uh, AACC meeting attendees. So I'll be talking about the use of next-generation sequencing for cell-free tumor DNA testing. Uh, my colleague Vera Paulson is going to be talking about the application of DD PCR, or droplet digital PCR. And then Scott Levitch is going to be talking about the application of RNA-based next-generation sequencing. And really, we're really going to emphasize um, how we use this in molecular oncology. Emerging molecular technologies sounds like these methods aren't well standardized. Are the technologies that you will be describing in this session considered controversial? It's also a good question. It's not that they're considered controversial uh, per se, but they are new, um, at least new to clinical laboratories. So sometimes we've been using these things in a research setting for quite a while, uh, but they haven't really become, I would say, the standard of care, and they're also highly specialized, so they're not offered everywhere. We're very intrigued by the name of your session. It's titled, If at First You Don't Succeed, an interactive case-based view of emerging molecular technologies. What does not succeeding at molecular testing look like? Right. Uh, so it can look differently in, in different settings. Sometimes it looks like we don't get a result. So if you don't have enough tissue, for example, then you can't ultimately make DNA, RNA, and, and test it with any sort of a fancy pants molecular technology. When, uh, uh, on the converse side of that, if you're doing an assay that um, uh, is really giving you a qualitative result, either you have because we're talking about DNA, either an A or a C or a T or a G, um, one of those types of failures actually doesn't look like you don't get any result. You could get a false negative result. And that's really why you want to use the right technology for the right application, which is what we're going to be guiding people through in this session. Tina Lockwood, thank you so much for your time and for joining us today. Thanks very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Molecular technology is playing a big role in the future of medicine. Don't miss that session. Now with more on next generation DNA sequencing, let's go to Microgen DX, where they are helping physicians to treat microbial infections. I can't think of but a very small percentage of my specimens now for which the NGS is not preferable. Almost always I get information that I am not going to get from any of the other studies. If you treat infections, you need to have a working knowledge of NGS, and indeed you have to have a comfortable knowledge of NGS. Genomic testing, of course, plays a key role in detection and management of cancer, and the decisions patients make are often based directly on its effectiveness. Let's go to Agendia now, where they are offering breast cancer patients the testing needed for a more personalized treatment approach. Agendia's focus at the end of the day is to help find the right treatment for the right woman at the right time, all to improve outcomes for that individual patient.
Now to Archer DX, whose precision oncology approach is helping in the global fight against cancer. Let's take a look. We are aiming to create a world in which genetics are used to help guide cancer therapy. And we believe this is really important because at this current time, these powerful targeted therapies are underutilized. Our anchored multiplex PCR AMP chemistry is, is different in the sense that it allows us to solve some of the most complex genomic problems. Really, it starts with our molecular barcoding strategy. And so this is a method in which we can associate or tag every starting molecule with a, a unique molecular identifier. And that allows us to track that molecule all the way through the, the library preparation and sequencing process. We believe that AMP is a transformational innovation because of its ability to detect not only simple, but also complex mutations accurately. We believe that we're going to make a significant improvement in the use of precision oncology. That's the end of our fourth show here at the AACC Annual Scientific Meeting and Clinical Lab Expo. It's almost time to leave the virtual space, but not before we have one more exciting day here at the most important event in the field of laboratory medicine. Tomorrow, we will hear from AACC CEO Mark Golden and look at the highlights of the last few days. Make sure to come back then.